Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be unboxing my new MacBook Pro. So here's all the stuff that came in the box. Just the normal information and Apple stickers and the charging box and cable. Once my new computer turned on, I started filling out all of the basic information and then I attempted to transfer the information from my old MacBook to my new one, but that ended up not working out. While I was waiting, I put on my new case that I got off of Amazon. It is so, so cute. It also came with the screen protector, so I put that on right away. Next, I stuck on this little privacy protector and I laid on the keyboard protector. Lots and lots of setup. Here I'm doing the finger ID. I ended up having to buy this USB adapter since the MacBook Pro does not have a USB port. my MacBook Pro for a few days now and I wanted to take some time to talk to you guys about how I'm liking it and what I think about it. What I've been doing these past few days is just transferring all my information over to my new MacBook, logging into all my accounts, I airdropped myself all of the files that I needed to make my YouTube videos, downloaded any apps that I needed, and temporarily set it up to look a little more the way I like, but a video is coming soon where I customize it completely, so keep your eye out for that. I absolutely love how slim it is. It's a lot slimmer than my MacBook Air and I'll go ahead and show you guys the difference. This is my MacBook Air and it just seems to be unnecessarily bulky. As you can see this one is much more compact than this one is and I just think it's a lot more efficient and more practical for everyday use. We had a computer malfunction and my mom needed a new computer so did my dad for work because our old one completely just broke on us so we needed a computer to work well for everyone's needs in the family. For me it's my YouTube channel in school. My mom has her own needs and my dad has his own business and also has his own needs. So with everyone in mind, we came up with a plan to get the MacBook Pro for me with the M1 chip since it would be more beneficial for me to create content for you guys. And we also got one terabyte of storage, which I know is a lot, but we really wanted to invest in this and make it last a really long time. I have a lot of storage to store any video clips or pictures, anything. On my MacBook Air, at first I thought it was really good until I started working on multiple projects and I didn't have enough storage. It was super irritating having to delete so much stuff. I'm already super on top of that and delete anything I don't need. I ended up having to delete some things that I really would have liked to have kept. But on my new MacBook, I don't have to worry about that and it's running so much more smoothly. There at the end, my MacBook Air on iMovie was running so choppy, it was super hard to edit my videos. I've already started editing a new video on my new computer. It's already running so much better and it's so much easier and more enjoyable to edit my videos. I have plenty of storage and I don't need to worry about that at all. I wasn't aware that I wouldn't have a USB port and would need to get this adapter, which was a little frustrating, but thanks to Amazon Prime, I got it super fast. And it's really not that big of a deal, it's not annoying. A little random sad thing is that the apple doesn't glow the touch bar and touch id are super awesome it's definitely really weird and different from my other computer but i think it's a really awesome feature oh my goodness and the battery life on my new mac is incredible like i don't even know what to do with myself my macbook air i would have to charge so frequently and it would seem like the battery just went way too fast but this one lasts me at least a full day of working on and doing school on before i have to charge 
it again. So altogether, I would say this MacBook is incredible. It is totally worth it. It runs so nicely and it's just really efficient for a lot of different uses and I think it will last me a really long time. Thank you all so, so much for watching my unboxing. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know in the comments and stay tuned for my customization video. I'm so excited to add some personalized touches to my laptop. Also, if you are interested in anything I talked about in this video, I'm going to link all of it in my description box, so make sure you check that. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you on my next video.